The power of ritual is as ancient as humanity. So I encourage you to make a decision right here, right now, that this is going to work for you. And you can literally say that in your mind. This is going to work. This process is going to work. Let's do this. So my friends, I think you know by now that I'm honored to be sponsored by GQ Legal Specialists. For all your legal needs in Aotearoa, New Zealand, consider GQ. Are you ready to be free from the energy of that past relationship? The one that just feels like it's been haunting you for a while. In this video, I am going to present a very simple ritual that, as I said at the start, we're going to just decide is going to work for us, okay? Clearly, a process like this has to be considered from a more spiritual perspective. This is not medicine. This is not a substitute for medicine or psychotherapy or healing in a deeper way but simply an invitation really for your mind to free up some space and for some of you it actually will make a difference right and I say for some of you because the truth is part of any healing process is our conviction that we will be healed right? That's been proven time and time again. So I'm simply inviting you to step into this ritual with me and I'm literally going to hold your hand as if it will work, right? With that positive intention, which is so powerful. So my dear ones, what you will need for this ritual is a candle, doesn't matter what kind of candle, any candle, a glass of water, and something to write on. I have a notebook here. I have a couple of notebooks actually. Um, and obviously a pen. And I would encourage you to do this with old, good old fashioned pen and paper. And you'll see why as we progress. You will also need some matches or a lighter, okay? So we're gonna light the candle at some point. So do make sure, obviously, that you can do this in a safe way, that you don't have anything that's gonna set light to your candle, that you have clear space, okay? And of course, ideally, clear space in more than just in terms of the room, but in terms of you're not going to be disturbed for this process, okay? The first thing we're going to do is, or rather you're going to do, is you're going to write the person a letter. You're not going to have long for this, okay? Because we're doing this in real time together, all right? So get your notebook and your pen ready. Let's just spend a few moments in quiet contemplation together. It's literally going to be maybe two minutes, if that. In the next two minutes, we're going to stay more or less quiet. And my invitation to you is if you pray, this will be a good moment to pray. If you don't, it's just a chance to consider that you're not going to have long to write this note to this person. This note is not going anywhere, by the way, guys. So don't be panicking about this, okay? This is part of our process, okay? So this is a note that's going nowhere, but I want you to pour your heart out in the minute or so that you will have to write it. And I am being harsh with this because, as we know, sometimes the problem is that it feels like too much time and energy is invested in the negative and in the sad, sorrowful history that is behind you right in this ritual we're going to have time limitations to kind of bring all of this together and so it doesn't feel overwhelming and you'll be able to see from the length of this video before you even start that we're not going to spend ages in this process okay so you're ready to follow along with this let's just take a few moments of quiet if you can you can close your eyes if you like I'm just going to lower my gaze and I'm just going to be with you for the next minute or so. And this minute or so is really, as I say, just to think about what you really want to say. Because when we start to write, you're not going to have long. And I really want you to say what you actually want to say, not what you think you should say. Remember, in actual fact, this is going nowhere. 
so you can be as rude as you want okay but it does need to have that intention of really cleansing your heart that's the most important part all right so quiet moment and then we'll begin to write Okay, are you ready to write this letter, this goodbye, this final farewell? Okay, let's do this. probably should have said might need some tissues as well hey the next step in this process my dear ones is to bring in the candle and your matches we're going to light this candle you can go ahead and do this now with me and what we're going to do now is we're going to spend a few moments in meditation and when I say a few minutes, moments, I really do mean a few moments. And the purpose of this next part of our ritual is to, once again, in a time-limited way, allow ourselves the space to reflect on maybe the best things about that relationship, maybe the worst things, whatever you want. But keeping in mind, we will just have a minute or so to do this, okay? And so I say that as an invitation to bring your thoughts into where you really want to direct them. If it really is the negative stuff, that's okay, all right? It's a kind of purging because fire, as we know, many of us will already appreciate, is very purifying. And so I felt that might be really helpful for us in this moment to bring in that element of fire, okay? Specifically, in terms of the practice itself, I want you to focus your gaze on the blue part of the flame. So you may need to move the candle in order to actually have it at a level that is comfortable for your eye line. And when you're ready in a moment, we're gonna cut, take a couple of deep breaths together and then I will invite you to focus your gaze into that center of the flame, okay? 
in my case is actually not that blue there is a little bit of blue in that flame and it's okay if it's not blue right it's it's a darker color but that's the part of the flame that i want you to gaze into then we're going to close our eyes and that's when i invite you to visualize in technicolor because this is this is a one and done thing remember we're saying we're affirming that this is going to work there's no reason why it shouldn't and can't work it's really down to you to determine whether you believe in this process or not okay no matter what anyone else may think right so when you're ready to take a second to compose yourself and take a few deep breaths Now lowering your gaze into the heart of the flame. Continuing to breathe slowly and deeply. Keep your gaze nice and steady. Inhale and exhale. And then on your next breath, you're going to close your eyes and we'll take approximately a minute here, a minute to say your final goodbyes. And that is in a symbolic way, perhaps visualizing the high points of the relationship, the reasons why it meant so much to you, all the low points and the reasons why you know in your heart it's time to move on, taking your breath now, quietening down your mind and visualize. So just another moment to check in with how you're doing and how you're feeling. Of course, if at any point you feel like you need to just detach from this process, you can. There's always tomorrow. You can always come back to this practice, to this ritual. Okay. We're down to the final part of this letting go. You're going to take your letter, your note, and to keep things safe, rather than burn the letter, unless you have an outdoor area where you can do that safely, to keep it real simple, this is where our water comes in, okay? And we're going to literally place the note in the water. And what you will find is that you'll leave this for a little while, maybe even just a few hours. And beyond this ritual, you'll come back to this glass of water with your note disintegrating away. And when it's time, when it's nice and soggy in there, you can literally just ball up that note paper. And obviously I encourage you to throw it in your bin. Or if you prefer, if you have a compost heap and a, a place of recycling, you can obviously place it in there assuming it's just plain paper, right? And it's biodegradable. So my friends, we've come to the end of this ritual. In the moment we're gonna blow out the candle that we lit earlier. When you're done watching this video, I want you just to allow yourself to feel that burden lifted. And as the smoke fizzles and rises up and away into the ether, you're free. Okay, so if you're ready to let go and be free, okay, at least in this context of this practice that we're doing, and remember guys, there's no reason why you can't repeat this, okay? You can just do it again the next day if you feel like, I'm almost there, but not quite, right? 
come back to this practice, come back to this ritual. For now, we're holding to this idea that there's no reason why it can't be today. Today is the day you're letting go. So if you're ready, we're going to blow out the candle together on three. Are you ready? One, two, three. We're done, guys. We are done. You are done. You've done great, okay? Take it easy for the rest of your day. Be gentle. If you can do something extra kind for yourself, go do it, okay? Whatever that is for you, you know the thing that is actually not unhealthy, but is a treat for you. Go do that, all right? And really, you know, drink lots of water today as well. You know, especially if there was a lot of emotion released in this process, if there were tears, I encourage you, drink your water. Remember, you're going to go back to the note that is disintegrated and gone and done, ready to be transmuted, right? You can go back to that and chuck it in the bin in your recycling, wherever you feel is best. And that is the end of this process. So I really am excited for you for this new chapter in your life. And remember, guys, that we're not robots, that sometimes we do need to come back to things and repeat. Sometimes our wounds are deep, not symbolic of our failure in any way if we need to come back and repeat a practice or repeat a ritual or process. It just means that there's a little bit more to go. So there's no restriction in that. You can repeat this ritual as many times as you wish. But I'm wishing you well and I thank you for trusting me to walk with you in this really important process. I look forward to hearing your comments, guys. And I really hope that if you're not already part of the Soul Food Fano, you'll consider joining us. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Kia ora.